happy Wednesday. It's really late, but it has been a crazy day. It has been a crazy, crazy day. I have been working nonstop since I got up this morning. It's just been one thing after another. <clears throat> you ever have a day like that? It's just like all day long. It's like, can I just have five minutes? No, I can't have five minutes because something else has come up. Holy Moses, I have never, but I did have time to go up in the attic. I had a bunch of stuff that went up in the attic. I started getting door prizes for my family reunion, and I, I keep them. There's a place up in the attic where I just put all that stuff because I get it a little bit at a time. So I took that stuff up in the attic, and while I was up there, I got down. I had a whole tote full of, like, warmer weather workout clothes, and I discovered I had a lot more tank tops than I thought. But I did take time to go through and clean out. I have this one drawer that's full of, like, cold weather pants and stuff. I got all those out. I went through them, I put some stuff in the Goodwill box, and I cleaned that drawer out to put my shorts in there, because I have a whole collection of like workout shorts. So I put them all in the drawer, took the long, the, the cold weather pants, the long pants, put them in the tote, got the tote close to the attic. I put it next to the door to the attic. It'll go up there the next time I go. See, that's part of what I do to stay organized. If I have stuff in one room, like say I have stuff downstairs that needs to come up here, I put it at the bottom of the stairs so that the next time I'll go upstairs for any reason, I can just grab that stuff and take it with me and get it up to wherever it needs to be. And the next time I need to go in the attic, I'll take that big, big ass tote of pants and stuff and carry it up in the attic as I go up there to get whatever I'm going up there to get. So I got my, my, my workout shorts put up and also I hung up pretty, I think I hung up all of my tank tops because the drawer that I had my tank tops in, it was, it was so full because I had tank tops in it and capri pants and it was so full I couldn't even get it shut anymore. I said, how, how are you supposed to look at anything in this drawer? It's so full, all you can see is what's on the top unless you want to dig everything out of here every time you go to look at something. So let me show you what I did do. I did do one thing today. Pardon the lighting, I'm gonna look scary. Okay, so. I, uh, I came in here into the attic and um, some shit up there. Look, look how, look how, oh my Lord, that is, that is so, there's Barney. <laughs> Every now and then I'll stick him in one of the kids' beds while they're gone. <laughs> like if they're going to school, so they come home and Barney's like chilling under the covers or sitting in front of their door. <laughs> they never know when I'm going to do it. It's like a little Easter egg. These are not folded property, properly. Don't, don't look at that. But, look, check it out. I took all of my tank tops and I put them here. Let me show you. Look at, look at that. Look. Now, I can come in here. I still have some random stuff. Like, I kept out some of my, my long sleeve workout stuff. Because I work out six days a week. So, I go through a lot of outfits, right? They're not color coordinated or anything. But, I got them all on hangers. Look, these are all my tank tops. So I have all, and, I, and these are um, Carl's shirts, future shirts. I'm gonna have them working in a bedding store. I found that at Goodwill. These are shirts that I found at Goodwill and they, they're hanging here waiting for Carl. I've been too busy. I, I wanted to do a role play this week, but I swear to you, I have just had a week with the siding and everything like, I can't, my brain is full. I can't focus, but I did at least get all of my tank tops in here so I can, you know, they're all on hangers so I can very easily come through and find them. I have my nail polish. Well, it's been in here. It's in there. And over here, I have my short sleeve. If I want just a short sleeve workout shirt, I have a collection, a little selection of those right here. That's not all of them, but that's most of them. I did have a lot more, but I've kind of pared it back a little bit so that that's what I've got now. So, anyway. Yeah, I had I had big goals. I had big ambitions for this week. I, you know what I was going to do? I was going to get at least two role plays done. I, well, I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow, but I thought after that, I can go back and get one done. Well, work has been really crazy. I've ended up having to work more than normal with my day job. And then the siding people have been here. They were here right up until about, shoot, almost 6 o'clock last night working. And they finally got it done. I, it looks good back there. The outlet is still loose, but they're supposed to. When they, I'm going to go ahead and get them to do, do the sides. 
So it'll all match. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to ride their ass the whole time. I'm gonna have to stay on them the whole time. I know. I know I am. And I'm already tired just thinking about it. I mean, shit, look how long it took them to do the back. My God. And they worked, what'd they work? Wednesday? Did they work? I think they started Wednesday last week. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. No, 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 they didn't work Thursday. There was one day I had a tarp up. They didn't work that day. They worked all day Saturday. They worked Monday and Tuesday. And that's just on the back. Like, what the hell took so long? That's just the back, and there was nothing complicated about it. Well, shit, if they'd done it right the first time, they wouldn't have had to redo that one section three times before it was right. That's not my fault. Like, do it right or do it over. That's my philosophy in life. That's what I've taught my kids. That's what I expect. If I'm paying an ass load of money for, a, for siding, you're going to do it right or you're going to do it over. That's it. And you can call me a bitch all you want to. You can say it in Spanish. I still know what you're saying. Don't assume people don't know what you're saying. Anyway, yeah, I'm that bitch. And they're coming back. I don't know if it's going to be the same crew or not. But I'm going to go ahead and get them to do the side. Because at least that way it's going to match. And hiring another company from everything I've heard from other people that have had siding done. They're all like this. Like all the siding people around here are like that. They're full of attitude. They do a shitty job unless you stay on them. So hiring another company wouldn't help anyway. Hiring other people to do it, I don't think it'd make any difference because it, for, it seems like a universal experience around here. Everybody I know that has had siding in the last few years has said the same thing. They just, they all, it's all bullshit. They all suck. They're terrible. What's I going to say? So anyway, it took them so long just to do the back. I don't even want to know how long it's going to take them to do the sides and the dormers up there. Holy They'll probably be here the rest of the year. So with all the hammering and the banging and the sawing and the ding dong in my doorbell and come out and look and my brain is too full. And when I do, I know it sounds crazy, like to do, to do a role play or to work on my story. I haven't been able to work on my story either. That the follow up to River Road, I said I was going to get it done this year. If shit doesn't change, I'm going to lose my mind and I, I can't. I have to clear my head out of all this crap or I, it's like my brain just is not capable. It's like, oh, you want me to be creative? Kiss my ass. It's not going to happen. It took every bit of creative juice I had to make that April Fool's video and I was sick on top of it. It took everything I had in me to do it. I thought I was going to die. So to sit down and do a role play, I don't think I can. Honest to God, my brain is like, yeah, I got nothing. I got nothing. I have to clear it out or it won't work. I'll just sit there like, I don't I don't know. Because I make it up as I go along. There's no script. I just grab some random stuff and dress the part and I hit record and whatever happens, happens. I don't plan it in advance. It just comes out. But if my brain is too full, it's like I can't, I can't do it. I just, I just, I just can't do it. My brain won't let me. So a lot of people have been like, why don't you do role plays anymore? I fucking can't. I'm trying to. Sorry. I'm sorry. But it's frustrating because I want to. But I just do not have the mental bandwidth to do it right now. I can't do it. Never mind the fact I've had people hammering and sawing and banging on my damn house for a week. But they're gone for now. For now. Anyway, they're gone. I was in the backyard. I did go out in the backyard for a half hour today with a, a vacuum, vacuuming up. I found 37 nails in my grass. It's almost like they went out there and just sprinkled them like, like the tooth fairies, sprinkling magic dust. Like, what are you doing? I found some of them a good 15 feet away from where they were piling trash. Like, were you just throwing them in my yard? Big ass nails, too. Big ones, small ones, fancy ones, plain ones. I found down my roof and nails. Like, what the hell? Those were not out there before. Anyway, 37 of them I picked up today. And there's probably more. That's just what I found in my initial search. But I got out there and I vacuumed up all the junk, all the little pieces of insulation, all the little bits and pieces of wood. I got it looking lovely. And I have a neighbor that uh, is recovering from COVID and actually has some cracked ribs from the cough. And I went and mowed their yard this afternoon because I was going to mow mine, but then the grass people came and sprayed weed and feed or whatever and said, just please don't mow for the next day or so. 
So, but I was able to get my neighbor's yard done. I I, I want to help people. I want to do something nice because, you know, so I did that. And then I went to an exercise class and I'm bone tired. You ever, you ever been bone tired? I got to sit down. I'm going to sit on the edge of my tub, which I also need to clean. You ever been bone tired? It's like, it's, it goes beyond like a physical tired. It's like you're physically and mentally exhausted to the point that when you lay down, your brain is still going 100 miles an hour and you can't relax, but you desperately need to. That's me. And I was really hoping I could do a role play video, but it, it just at this rate is not going to happen this week. I really wanted it to. I had some ideas that I wanted to try to do. Like when I do a role play video, I start out with a basic idea like Carl works in a bedding store because I found that shirt at Goodwill. So I start out with that basic idea and I have him just sit down and I just, I just let him talk. I just hit record and I just let Carl talk to you as the customer. I just let him talk to you. Or Charity, I wanted to do a video with her. I cannot handle Charity if I'm tired. My God. I don't know what it is about her, man. She wears me out. Carl's easy. Carl, I could do, even if I'm tired, I could probably sit down and, and hell, just let him, don't cuss, though. Don't talk dirty. My mother doesn't like that. I could do Carl without a whole lot of trouble. Charity, oh my God. Charity is so, like, one-dimensional. Like, there's nothing to her. And there's only so much you can do with, like, a gold-digging character. Like, I feel like I've kind of done about all I can with her anyway, but... I wanted to do something so but it ain't gonna happen this week it's just not the best laid plans of mice and men you know how that goes maybe next week maybe well no god next week spring break my kids are gonna be here all week mm, that's gonna be fun and my younger son wants to have a friend over and have a sleepover at least one night so that'll be interesting he loves to do stuff like that though I, i'm not gonna I certainly am not going to rain on his parade. We'll work that out. I need to clean my tub. I realized that today. That's not going to happen tonight. It's probably going to happen later. But I, I got to get set up. I got to do a video for my other channel. I don't even know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to have to figure something out. Seems like there was something else I wanted to tell you and I don't remember. Oh, oh, I do remember too. Okay, so I went to Aldi this morning. I try to go on Wednesdays to check out the Isle of Shame and see what's on it. First of all, they have some kick-ass um, like like sports bras. I think they have three three or four styles. Now they don't have them in all the sizes. That's what pissed me off. They ha I got two of them. They had one that was in black with these cool crisscross straps in the back, and a purple one. So cool. I love them. The sizes run a little big though. Um, normally with stuff like that, I end up having to get a large because like I'm. I don't know what it is about the way I'm shaped. It's like I'm barrel chested or something. It's not like big boobs or anything. It's like my, my measurement around my rib cage is just weird. It's larger than you would think it is. But it's not, again, it's not like cup size or anything like that. Not to get too personal, but they are so comfortable. And clothing stuff at Aldi is kind of hit and miss. Sometimes it's great. Sometimes it's not. But these, these uh, sports bras are really nice. And they have like three or four different styles. They had this one that I really liked. It had like a, it was like gray and it had kind of a marbly look to it, but they only had them in large and extra large. They didn't have any smalls or mediums. See, normally in those types of items, I get a large, but in these, I needed them. I got them, I got them large at first and it was too big. So I took it back and got a medium. And then I, I picked up one of the black ones and one of the purple ones. The black one was the one I tried on and it was too big. But the medium fit, and then I got a purple one as well. Super comfortable. I love. They fit perfectly. They they are just perfect. Um, and so that's on the Isle of Shame as of today. And if you have an Aldi in your area, you might be able to get them. They also have in the in, at least at my Aldi, you know they have that little frozen section of stuff that's like available for a limited time only. It's not like the regular stuff. They have these pizzas from Mama Mama Kotzi's, or however you say it. They have this chicken Alfredo pizza. Oh my God, it is the best. It is so good. If you like chicken Alfredo stuff and pizza, 
you got to try it. It plumps up. It, it sort of rises as it bakes. The cheese is wonderful. The chicken is good and the Alfredo sauce. Oh my God. It's so, and it's only like $4.49 for this big pizza. So good. I made one tonight. It was, oh, it was so good. It was so good. Having that pizza tonight was like the best way to kind of wrap up my day, even though I, I'm not done because I still have to make a video, but really, really good. So it's not with the regular pizza, this with like the limited time stuff. So they're not going to have it all the time. And they had another kind that had, it had like spinach on it. I didn't get one of those because I'm not a big fan of, every time I eat spinach, it upsets my stomach. There's just something about spinach that just, I don't, I don't, it gives me a stomach ache. Like I don't, I can't eat it. So, and I'm not a big fan of spinach on pizza. Like, don't try to get healthy with me. Put all the nasty shit on there. Put all, put all the stuff on it I'm not supposed to have. Because if I'm going to eat pizza, I want to enjoy it. If I want a salad, I'll have a salad. Don't put, don't put your salad on my pizza. Don't do it. That's gross. That's not where salads go. Feed them to the, the goats and the cows outside. And keep it off my damn pizza. And then I'll eat the cows and the goats. Well, I won't eat the goat. Put a pig out there, I'll eat that. Um, don't put it on my pizza. Okay, so. Oh, uh, yeah, I realized something. <laughs> okay, I have to show you this. It was sitting up there on my, my jewelry box. So I got I got this nail polish three days, no, two days ago. I got this Color Mania from LA Colors. It's called Fanatic. It's very pretty. But then yesterday when I was at Walmart, I picked up this Lottie nail polish. It's it's also very pretty. It's called Glow Up. Look at these two together. Look how damn similar they are. Hold on. Look at them. What the hell was I thinking? What was I smoking when I decided? <laughs> I was thinking that the Lottie was a lot darker, but really it's not. They're basically the same color. And if I recall correctly, I have a green Sally Hansen nail polish in there too that I think is also really super close to the color of these two. That's why I need to be supervised when I go shopping because I end up buying stuff that's very similar and it's like, Mary, why? Like I have a bunch of tank tops in there that are so similar. It's like, why do you have three or four that basically look the same? I don't know. Well, the, well, the, thing, the tank tops, I find those at Goodwill. And sometimes I don't remember exactly what I have already. I try to, but I don't always remember. So I end up with some that look similar. Whatever. I don't guess it matters too much. But yeah, I thought that was funny. So which one should I go with next? The green one or the green one? <laughs> the only difference is the, the Color Mania has that blue cast to it. It's kind of iridescent. You can't really see it here so much. But it has a bluish tint. There, you can kind of see it a little bit. It has this bluish tint to it, and the Lottie does not. The Lottie is vegan, though, so you could totally eat this if you're vegan. I'm kidding. Don't eat it. I guess the Color Mania is not. Like, maybe it's made out of animals or something. I don't know. It doesn't say it's vegan. So, yeah, the Lottie is plant-based gel nail color, vegan and cruelty-free. I guess this one is, is meaty and full of cruelty. It was cheaper. I know that. Anyway, I'm going to, I'm going to go figure out what video I'm going to do because then I have to take a shower and I have to go to bed and in the morning I got to get up and I promise to take my younger son to school because he doesn't want to ride the bus because then they're out of school on Friday. He said, can you please take me to school? <laughs> I don't want to ride the bus. <laughs> please take me to school. So I'm going to take him to school in the morning. And then I have a, a doctor's appointment later. And then tomorrow is going to be my last day here without kids here for a week and a day. Holy moly. So I don't know what the videos next week are going to look like. There's no telling. <laughs> I'm just going to have to play it by ear. I may be doing a lot of videos elsewhere. <laughs> I'm kidding. They're usually pretty good. They don't really. They're not too rambunctious when they're here. When they were younger, it was different, but as they get older, they're not quite so bad about running around and being crazy, but thank you so much for being here. I really hope your week is going well, and I will, I will see you again soon.